Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a pretty crazy SBC to review today. Let's be real, okay? He looks really nuts. We have the new Sao SBC to review today. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing his name right, but we're taking a look at a card who is six foot tall, medium high work rates, right footed, three star skills, four star weak foot. So guys, listen, man, medium high work rates, four star weak foot, pace at 84, Oh man, 83 pace with 95 for acceleration on a shadow chemistry style. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. So this card, obviously, going to be the more defensive-oriented card in your team that can attack from time to time, which is sick. Because look, his shot power is at an 80, his finishing is at a 71, 83 for attacking positioning, but the whole purpose of this card is to be a brick wall in the midfield. Guys, we're potentially looking at one of the best CDMs in the game, the more defensive-oriented CDM, okay? Base card stats for passing set up really nicely as well, too, with 86 vision, at 96 for short passing, long passings at a 90. What body type does this guy have? Because if he's like an average or maybe like a high in average, let's see what he has. His Oh, he has a lean body type. Yo, lean body type with dribbling stats like that. Oh, that's kind of nuts, actually. Okay, lean body type with that, eh? So, wait a second, lean body type with 93 acceleration, 95 for sprint speed, with 90 aggression, 88 for strength, 97 for stamina. His base card stats for defense is set up perfectly for the shadow chemistry style. The only thing that's low is defensive awareness, but listen, work rates this year, guys, is the biggest thing, okay? The fact that he's medium high with 90 defensive awareness should be good enough, Okay. That's good because, guys, listen, the fact that he's a lean body type, if the game plays a little bit rough, he can actually compensate for it, which is kind of sick. So it's a card that should be good defensively, but can also offer you that attack as well. This card looks interesting, man. He looks very interesting. Uh, the way that we're going to be lined up with him in game, guys, is going to be uh, in the 4-4-2. We're going to be switching to this formation and tactic, right? So we're going to be using two different ones. We're going to be using him in the 4 one 2 and 2 in that CDM area. And we're also going to be using him in the 4-4-2 um, with the forward runs tactic. And then what we're going to do here is we're also going to play him in a 4-2-3-1. So 4-2-3-1 with him. Davies is up top here. Uh, Boateng. The rest of this doesn't really matter. It's just to test out these guys here. Hostage will put there. Instructions will be stay back, cover center. Stay back, cover center. Actually, no. And then the rest of the team doesn't really matter. Okay, cool. Let's try them out. Oh, that lean body type. I, I really feel like that's going to be super helpful for this card, man. Quick touch. Listen, man, it's just small things, right? Quick touch, being able to work with the weak foot and stuff. It actually does attack if he's on balance. That's interesting. Oh, it's a good animation for the defense, though. All right, so I don't want to touch anything here. That's his track back, right? So kind of similar to like having like a medium work rate as well. I'm going to switch to this re real quick here. Watch us run. Pretty typical stuff there. Ooh, quick touches. That was nice. Oh, and a green, too. I got really lucky with that dribble. That was super random. Oh, goes for the animation, though, at least. Quick little stop, turn. <laughs> Guy blocks that passing area, but he still passes around that. I appreciate that. So I had to block that area there with my center back myself, but he was still uh, tracking after the attacker there as well. Decent reach, decent reach. Possession base too, doesn't like completely flick it away. Yeah, just an L trigger, just have to hold the ground there. Nice, positioned well for that pass, wasn't even controlling him there. Lagron switch! Ooh, really well weighted. Oh, snatches it out of the air. You see that? That was sick. 
Then the weak foot pass. Yeah, it's it, those things are nice to work with, dude. I'm telling you. Nice goal. All star from the defensive play too. Beauty. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Oh, asking for the ball too. Hey, eh? relax, buddy. His passes are fantastic, man. For a midfielder, it's so good. Oh, man. That was a great shot, too. You know what's funny is I was trying to pass the other guy right there, but he actually still won the ball in the air from behind as well. Slide tackle? Oh, he actually went running for a... He just stuck his foot out for the slide tackle. <laughs> that works. Oh, instantly comes up, too, from the slide tackle. His, posi his positioning is good, too. As a CDM, he definitely positions himself where he's supposed to be. That weak foot to work with is awesome, man. Oh, we got on the green again, though, man. We got on the green again. So the way that he was like generally positioned right there was good, just outside of the uh, little semicircle area it was good. Yeah, I like his transition speed too. Big reason for this is because of the uh, the body type and the dribbling stats that works together really well. The fact that he's a lean body type, guys, for me is a really big deal. Like he'll lack in physical from time to time, but. I almost feel like I want the lean more because of kind of like just compensating for gameplay stuff sometimes. This is him out of position again. You see that he tracks back really quickly here, right back into position. That's not going to happen often because, again, you're going to have him on stay back while attacking mostly, but you do need to test those stuff out. Nice goal. Just a driven pass and you just wait for the opponent to kind of act. Oh, wow. I didn't even control him there. <laughs> nice. Oh, almost got that so far, though. Let's go. Great slide tackle. The Gibriel So, that's his name. Apparently. Yeah, the Gibriel So, that's what he called him. Guys, for a more defensive-oriented, like, midfielder, he has really nice dribbling. Cards like this usually don't have the dribbling like that. It's kind of like using Lauren Blanc in that area. Um, in regards to, like, them being somewhat decent attacking-wise, but they're more there for defensive purposes. Yeah, so out of position like crazy, still tracks back super fast. So the medium-high work rates is fantastic. Medium work rates would do that as well. But it's more just like the defensive stuff that he does, man. I don't know. It's it, these guys are like different when they actually have that uh, defensive capability, you know? Oh, I got it there, though. Got it there, though. Oh, nice shield. That was like a last second shield, too. Nice. It's funny because the thing that you have to see, right, is when you press the tackle button from a fair distance away from the attacker and they kind of like magnetize to the ball, those are like the best challenges, man. Beauty. Oh, he goes for it, though. I was a little bit off, though, in regards to uh, the distance away from him. Yeah, it goes for it as well. I need him. I need them to at least go for it. It's when they do nothing that it irritates me, you know. Good shot cancel against the goalkeeper there. Oh, we actually got a penalty for that. Let's go. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, he's going to score a goal for me? No way. What are we looking at here? What penalties do you have? So, 67. Easy. Watch this. Banger. Look at that. <laughs> okay, guys. So, final verdict on the new DeGibrio Soul card. So, in regards to how he plays in-game, guys, we gave him the Shadow Chemistry style to boost his pace and his defense as much as possible, which is super ideal because... If you can boost his pace to be a 93 with a 95 for sprint speed to work with those dribbling stats at a lean body type, six foot heights, medium high work rates, it's a car that's going to transition left and right really quickly for you. It's going to be fantastic to work with, right? The dribbling to work with that height and body type is massive because I thought he was going to be like a high and average type body type or something or an average or whatever. But the lean body type is what really helps him move left and right really quickly, dribble really well on the ball, even if the game plays a little bit rough, right? Uh, with the shooting being as it is, the passing being as it is, the physical being there, all of that is great to work with because if you actually want to use him as a center mid in your team, you totally can. You just have to understand that he has that medium high work rate instead of like a high medium or a medium medium. The medium high work rates, guys, is really meant for you to use a card like this, uh, you know, in that cdm position in a 4-2-3-1 or if you're lined up in a 4-4-2 he's on stay back cover center as your more defensive oriented card that can attack from time to time right so for the sbc 104k 98k guys if you don't do this sbc you're sus let's be real like this is an sbc that is just a hands down sbc to do <laughs> He's that much? That's crazy. Not crazy as in like good, because I know some of you guys are from like different uh, continents and stuff. Like crazy as in good, guys, not in a bad way. You know what's great about this card is the links you can get with him in the Bundesliga, especially that Mbabu link. Like I'm pretty sure that card went up in price for sure. 100%. What else is there to work with with this card? Oh, that's like the main ones. But yeah, that, that Mbabu link is definitely going to be like a really, really big thing. I, that card is probably going to go up in price for sure since this card has been released, man. But 98K as an SBC for him is nuts, man. Do this, does this league even have players similar to this with the work rates and all that kind of stuff? Let's see, man. Yasuo was there. And Kunku is fantastic now. His 88s, like when, once it got to that point, he's a really good card in my opinion. I, I wasn't crazy about the cards before, but at that point, crazy card. I think he's really good. Zakaria is a, is a high medium work rate player, so it's a little bit weird there, you know? I mean, yeah, you'd be so sus not to do this card. You'd be so sus. He is so cheap for what he offers in game. Fantastic SBC, 100%. Yeah, that is a brilliant SBC. Wow, on a Shadow Chemistry style, guys, this guy is sick to work with, dude. What's funny is that you don't have to give him a Shadow if you don't want to. You want to, you want to improve his dribbling a little bit more with his base card stats for defense? Sure, you could give him an engine chemistry cell if you want to. I'm not saying you can't, right? Because you're mostly going to have a card like this on stay back while attacking anyways, right? So, man, that's a, that's a fantastic SBC. GG's, GG's to EA for this one. That's a, that's a great card for sure. Hey, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Hey, we reviewed a lot of cards. So if you guys want to check them out, be sure to do so. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.